Court just wrapped up for the day in the case of a murdered pregnant teenager in Jacksonville. Ayanna Sawyer disappeared in December 2018. Her uncle, Jonathan Quillis, is on trial for her murder, even though her body was never found. Jessica Clark is on your side tonight, and she's been saying that prosecutors have been talking all about how Quillis murdered his pregnant niece, Ayanna Sawyer, at his job, a junkyard on Jacksonville's north side. Jessica? Right, Jeannie, that's what they're saying. And then they say he got rid of her body at a landfill on the west side. We heard testimony from the general managers of each of those places today. Prosecutors say they found items missing from 16 year old Sawyer's room at Otis Road landfill, which is described by its general ma manager as massive. Also, this is a landfill for construction material, not household items. The general manager testified in December 2018 when Sawyer disappeared. They were up to 200 trucks coming in each day with construction and demolition debris. The amount of debris investigators searched through to try to find evidence was around 5,500 tons. And according to the landfill general manager, this is a lot to do. Almost impossible to find something like a, a needle in a haystack. Now, they never found Sawyer's body and the GM from Quillis's job at the junkyard, which is called Ace Pick Apart. He testified Quillis was one of about 16 employees who worked outside. He said the large commercial dumpster on the junkyard's property was emptied either the same day or the next day after somebody noticed it was full and made a call to the company that empties it. Prosecutors believe this is how Sawyer's body was taken to the landfill. It's um very, very difficult to find anything once it hits the ground at the landfill, you know, especially three or four weeks out. We also saw clips of surveillance video from the junkyard where Quill has worked. He is seen driving into areas where employees usually don't go, according to his boss. Quillis is also seen interacting with a person driving a truck carrying a dumpster off of the property. In the studio, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.